Hello, everybody, troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day on this beautiful and amazing Tuesday. Guys, happy Real House of Salt Lake City reunion part two day. It's later today. I'm very excited. We're going to be talking a lot about that tomorrow, okay? I'm hoping that you're having a beautiful and amazing day. If you are new here, well, welcome to the Beverly Troop. We have a lot of fun. We spill the tea every single day. We talk about Bravo. We talk about reality TV. We talk about pop culture. We mention it all, okay? So, Make sure to subscribe, 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 and hit the notification bell, guys. Uh, before we start, guys, a little pop culture out there. Did you saw um, uh, Mean Girls, the remake? Well, it's not like a remake, remake. It's a new movie. I mean, it's the same Mean Girls movie, but based on the Broadway show. And I have to tell you guys, go and watch it. Look, I am a huge fan of Mean Girls, the original. I love Lindsay Lohan. I love Jonathan. I love... Amanda Seyfried, I love uh, Rachel McAdams, I love all of them, you know, but what they did with this movie, honestly, I, ha I have zero faith in that movie, I was like, that shit is gonna be bad as fuck, but no, Tina Fey knows what she was doing, okay, this movie is everything, go and watch it, they really brought it to our times, uh, it's funny, it makes me, it makes us laugh, it honestly it's really 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 good okay so do not believe the little people out there i have seen some bad reviews out there and it's usually from people who are not able to move on from the past um girl the movie is really good okay and the music i mean i love musicals so i have to tell you the music was amazing um yes and there is an, a special appearance in the movie that you do not want to miss all right guys so it is time to talk about the real housewife of Beverly Hills girl there is a lot of talk in the town about what the hell is kyle rich kyle richards doing with her friends lives you know like what what what, what is next for kyle richards okay kyle richards she's going through a transformational period she's changing every single aspect about herself she's definitely i mean look I have to tell you, I do believe that it is a midlife crisis, you know. Uh, but in my eyes, having a midlife crisis is really not a bad thing, you know. It's kind of like your inner self, like asking for help to change who you are, you know. Because where you are right now might not be the best version of yourself, you know. But the problem is a lot of people, they don't really hear to their inner self, but they hear like, a bunch of noise and that's why they end up making a lot of mistakes but um i feel that kyle she's i mean she she got her you know midlife crisis and she's like i don't know what to do like i hate my life i hate absolutely everything and everyone in it and now she's really trying to do everything to make herself happy which i actually think it's okay, okay? why are you gonna go through life being unhappy if you have the power and especially if you have the power and the money to make yourself happy, why are you going to stay in an unhappy situation, right? Well, there is a lot of talk because she's dropping friends like flies. You know, she's like, I don't like you, I don't like you, I don't like you, you know. And the latest victim, of course, has been Dorit Kemsley. We talked yesterday how Kyle literally went on a live and say like, um, Dorit is a liar. She exaggerates everything. She's never flying with me. Like, we literally went on a trip together. And I think... She is like a pathological liar who like make up like 12 trips from that one trip. And I was like, damn, Kyle, like, okay, mention it all. Well, why is she doing that? Okay. So there is a couple of theories, um, one more conspirative than the other one. So I, it's really going to be up to you. The first one, like I was telling you before, she's transforming her life and she doesn't have space for these fake friendships anymore or this bad friendship anymore in her life you know and she kind of like wants to move on from that and she kind of like have a new group she's very i mean teddy mellingham is always going to, well i don't know if always but she's there right now and now it's morgan wade you know and they have like the group of friends and this is what she likes right now she's all like 
working out, working out, working out, working out. Like the only thing that this girl, I mean, Kyle is like dreaming with like weights, you know, because the, the only thing that she's seeing right now is working out. Um, so who knows how long does this is gonna like last for her? But you know, there is the first theory that you know, like everyone, like she's just pushing away people who is toxic for her. But there is a second theory, and it's the producer Kyle theory behind everything. Not only Dorit has been seen to be cut from the friendship, also Anne Marie Wiley was completely cut from her friendship, right? Allegedly. So we're talking about someone who was brought by Carl Richards to the show and then out of nowhere is like, um, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Like you cannot sit with us. Right. So it's kind of like what really went down there. So the second theory about producer Kyle is that she loved the show. She loved Real Housewife and she will stay there as long as she can. But she, she's not stupid. She knows that if she keeps going forward with that friendship, with people like Anne-Marie Wiley, Dorit Kemsley, and Erica Jane, that's not going to go too far, okay? Erica Jane is still in the middle of a bunch of legal stuff, you know, and she's still very controversial. And even though some people are saying, like, this is her, you know, um, how you say that in Spanish? Um, re Renaissance era? Latin moment, you know what I mean. Uh, still, she is in the middle of a lot of situations that Kyle just don't want to be involved with, right? Then we have Anne-Marie Wiley, which basically, the, the second that she was announced, it was everywhere that she is transphobic, racist, homophobic, and now she's supporting her rapist husband. So, like, do you really want that around you? I mean, is that going to be good for your image? And then you have Dorit Kemsley, which has been, like, a little bit good friend, but fake also here and there. But at the end of the day, now she's being extra controversial with the racist accusations everywhere and her being like, I like to live in my bubble, you know? So, like, I think that Kyle was like, I cannot mess with that right now. I'm, I'm going to have to cut those cancer cells, you know, and move into the group that a lot of people are really loving, which is Garcelle Boybe, Sutton Strack, and Crystal Minka, you know? And... Kyle is smart, okay? First of all, Kyle used to hate Crystal Minkoff, like, hate her. Why out of nowhere she's being so like, hi, Crystal, I love you, you know? Same with Sutton, same with Garcelle. It's because she's, she knows what she's doing. She's always going to want to be on the good side of the people. Now, my thing is, I am not really upset with that because I feel that Kyle is, she goes with the wing, you know, and I feel that when she let herself go into the dark side and get brainwashed by Lisa Rena and all of that, she became a lot darker. Like you can see the transformation when everything went up with Lisa Vanderpump, how dark Kyle really became season after season after season. So I'm thinking she's finally, like, seeing the light. And if she moves to this side, it could be very interesting. Now, the point is, is Garcelle, Sutton, and Crystal are going to really accept Kyle as part of this group as well? That's the question. You know, so I don't know. Maybe, may, uh, to me, I do believe that Kyle is being a little bit of a producer and being like, I cannot let my name being dragged with all of this mess, you know? I mean, and there is a lot of talk of, like, some, like, these girls leaving the show after this season. So I think she's she's definitely trying to play all her cards here and there, you know, move, move everything in the right direction because she doesn't want to be in the middle of any scandal. I mean, if there is something that Kyle hates, it's people talking about her. So... I don't know. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What's your theory of why Kyle Richards is dropping friends left and right? Let me know. And if you want to get all the tea related to The Real Housewife of Beverly Hills or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.